The Sahara Desert, known as the largest hot desert in the world, spans over 9 million square kilometers across North Africa. Its vast and arid landscape is characterized by extreme temperatures, scarce vegetation, and minimal rainfall. But in a remarkable twist of nature, the Sahara recently experienced a rare flooding event, which transformed parts of the desert into large lakes. As heavy rains flowed over the desert terrain, it created a new, watery landscape amid the palm trees and scrubby flora. Some of the most dramatic images of the event show new lakes carved into the sand dunes. This phenomenon not only defies the region's notorious climatic reputation, but also raises critical questions about the future of one of Earth's harshest environments. What could possibly cause such an unusual phenomenon in a place where rain is as rare as a mirage? Today, let's delve into this unprecedented flooding event, exploring the meteorological anomalies and climate change dynamics that triggered this rare occurrence. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Historically, the Sahara has been a region marked by dryness and extreme weather conditions. Average annual rainfall varies significantly, often ranging from 3 to 5 inches, with some areas receiving even less. Despite its reputation as an inhospitable landscape, the Sahara has not been entirely devoid of water. Periodic rainfalls do occur, usually during the short summer months, but these events are often brief and insufficient to alter the overall arid nature of the desert. However, the recent flooding event has raised questions about the changing dynamics of this iconic desert. For over two days in September, intense rain fell in parts of the Sahara Desert in southeast Morocco. NASA satellite data showed nearly 10 inches of rain fell in just two days. That equates to more than a year's worth of rain for this area. It's been 50 years since the Sahara had this much rain in such a short space of time. The rain also filled lakes that are normally dry, such as one in Ariki National Park, Morocco's largest national park, which has been dry for the past 50 years. NASA satellite images from the region also show newly formed lakes across swaths of the Northwest Sahara. The rains have helped partially fill some reservoirs and replenish groundwater aquifers in Morocco's south. However, this sudden influx of water came with devastating consequences. Flash floods claimed at least 18 lives, destroyed crops, disrupted electricity, and put immense pressure on local agricultural practices, which had already been struggling due to six consecutive years of drought. According to NASA, the flood occurred after an extratropical cyclone drenched a large swath of northwestern Africa in September. The cyclone drenched large treeless swaths of Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya, areas that only rarely receive rain. Usually, between July and September every year, rainfall north of the equator in Africa increases due to monsoon season. Such stormy weather occurs when the tropical air from near the equator meets the hot, dry air from the north of the continent. This boundary is called the Intertropical Convergence Zone. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Climate Prediction Center, since mid-July, the Intertropical Convergence Zone has been sending storms into the Southern Sahara. While some degree of rainfall is normal due to the monsoon season, it is unusual for the Intertropical Convergence Zone to reach as far north as the Sahara. According to NASA, the northward displacement of the storm track helped a developing system dump a year's worth of rainfall in some areas in just a matter of days. The system formed over the Atlantic Ocean and extended far southward, pulling moisture from equatorial Africa into the northern Sahara. Along with the rain and the floods, another extraordinary thing has happened in the Sahara. Recent scientific studies and satellite imagery suggest that parts of the Sahara Desert are undergoing significant changes, with areas that were once arid now experiencing greening. Satellite images released by NASA show pockets of plant life popping up all over the Sahara after the extratropical cyclone drenched a large swath of the desert. According to the NASA Earth Observatory, treeless landscapes in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya, areas that rarely receive rain, are now seeing traces of green sprouting up. Past research has shown that it is not wholly unusual for the plant life to sprout in the Sahara, 
when a deluge of rain pours in. According to scientists, with exceptional rainfall events, the desert dunes become these incredibly verdant and flowered fields, where the plants will just instantly grow for a short period of time to take advantage. The greening of the Sahara has important ecological implications for the region's biodiversity and ecosystems. As vegetation returns to areas that were previously devoid of life, it creates new habitats for a variety of plant and animal species. The reappearance of vegetation in the Sahara provides critical habitats for a range of species that were once common in the region. But this situation also presents challenges in the form of invasive species. These invasive species may outcompete native flora and fauna, disrupting the balance of the ecosystem and threatening local biodiversity. One of the primary drivers of Sahara's transformation is climate change, which has led to shifts in weather patterns and an increase in rainfall in certain parts of the region. Climate models and satellite data indicate that the Sahara has experienced more frequent and intense rainfall over the past few decades. The increased rainfall is largely attributed to changes in atmospheric circulation patterns, including the strengthening of the West African monsoon. Also, the transition from El Niño to La Niña likely affected how far north the intertropical convergence zone moved. This monsoon system brings moist air from the Atlantic Ocean into northern Africa, where it converges with dry desert air, resulting in precipitation. While the overall amount of rainfall remains relatively low compared to other regions, even small increases can have a significant impact on arid environments like the Sahara. As global temperatures continue to rise, the hydrological cycle is becoming increasingly erratic, leading to extremes of both drought and rainfall. Experts believe that this event could be indicative of a new trend, where regions that are traditionally arid may experience increased rainfall, significantly altering their ecosystems and local economies. The World Meteorological Organization has noted that such anomalies could become more common as climate change progresses. The combination of rising temperatures and altered weather patterns may lead to both severe droughts and sudden, intense rainfall events further complicating the challenges faced by the populations living in these vulnerable regions. The flooding event in the Sahara Desert marks a significant departure from the region's historical climatic patterns, raising important questions about the future of this iconic landscape. While the temporary transformation of the desert landscape is visually striking, the implications for local communities agriculture, and long-term climate trends are serious and complex. As global temperatures rise and weather patterns become increasingly erratic, regions like the Sahara may face more frequent and severe weather events. Understanding the causes and consequences of the flooding event is essential for developing effective strategies to adapt to a changing climate. By investing in research, monitoring, and community resilience, stakeholders can better prepare for the uncertainties of the future. Ultimately, the flooding in the Sahara serves as a powerful reminder of the need for proactive measures in the face of climate change, emphasizing the importance of global cooperation in addressing this pressing challenge.